October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and pink has become just as synonymous with the month as Halloween decorations, right. basically. The American Cancer Society says that messaging is working. Since 1989, breast cancer death rates have dropped by more than 40%. But all that pink can be really challenging for patients in the middle of a fight against the disease. Last year, I introduced you to Catherine Sanfle, a teacher battling stage 4 breast cancer. A year later, She's still battling, and this month, she shared with me what this month is really like for her. In the fall of 2021, Catherine Sanfle didn't think she'd still be here a year later. A lot has changed in the last year, yeah. I um, am officially medically retired. I am now a full-time stay-at-home mom, mm -hmm. <laughs> full-time cancer patient yeah. appointment attendee. She tells me that now she feels worse more often, so she conserves her energy for things that are most important. It's the little things that are what I want to do now. I try not to live every day as a cancery day all day. She says for her, living with stage four cancer requires a lot of compartmentalization. That's very challenging this month. But I remember my first October and being in a checkout line and them saying, do you want to donate money? Here's a pink ribbon. And I, it knocked the wind out of me. It's just kind of everywhere right now. Ashton Wells with Kansas City's chapter of the American Cancer Society explained balancing the pink messaging and the knowledge of the struggles for people like Catherine. I have people in my life who celebrate this month, who love this month, who um, are all about sharing their story because they want to help other people. And then I have people in my life who are like, this is a lot for me and this is not my favorite month. Rebecca Buell with the National Breast Cancer Foundation says all of those reactions are okay. Some just don't like it. They don't want to see it anymore after they're diagnosed. They don't want to do anything. Some are out at every race they can go to, you know, every, every walk and and buying all the products and sporting the pink. So, um, you know, just self-care there, whatever works for you. To you right now, what does awareness really look like and what do you wish it looked like? Everyone should not know what cancer treatment looks like on the daily for cancer patients. That is, it, that's not what the public needs. I, when I was initially diagnosed, I didn't know that if and when my cancer came back at stage four, which is where I am now, I will be on chemotherapy for the rest of my life. I think most people don't know that. I struggle with sort of like the exploitation of like save the boobs. <laughs> my boobs were gone long ago. Mm. Save my life. Mm. I can deal with the pink t-shirts and rhinestones all over the place as long as there's a significant amount of money being raised for research. And there really truly is in the month of October. My sincere thanks to Catherine once again for speaking to me this month. Every person you heard in that story told me the same thing. If you really want to help this month, do more than just wear or buy pink. Find an organization or group that is clear in their goals and clear about how they spend their money when it comes to researching ways to cure breast cancer. We posted some helpful resources in this story right now on KSHB.com. You hear her explain it, how it would be hard to be around that all the time. Of course, that makes complete sense. Well, that, that first October that she mentioned when the person wouldn't know that she's a breast cancer patient. She's never worn a wig or anything like that. She doesn't try to hide it. And she talked about even social media is hard. She's like, sometimes I just want to see my friend's pumpkin patch pictures. Mm. And there's all these accounts coming at me all throughout the month. It's, it's tough to see. And important to hear from these organizations that however you feel is okay. Yeah, absolutely.